Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best compact cameras. Starting at number 5. Sony ZV-1 Digital. Compact cameras can be a good fit for vlogging, thanks to their ease of use and portability, and the Sony ZV-1 is among the best we've tested. The camera is designed specifically for vloggers, so it's the only option on this list with a fully articulated screen for self-recording. It even has a specialized product showcase mode for product and beauty vloggers, prioritizing focus on any objects held up in the frame. Its 1-inch sensor captures good video quality, too, and it has excellent autofocus and a fair selection of frame rates. It's worth mentioning that the Sony ZV-1 II has hit the market now. It's a great alternative if you prefer a wider field of view, but the new model no longer features optical stabilization, and its digital stabilization feature crops in some of that wider angle view. Therefore, the original ZV-1 is still our top pick, especially since it costs less. Coming at number 4. Ricoh GR3 Digital. If image quality is your top priority, the Ricoh GR3 won't disappoint. It's one of the most compact cameras on this list and the only one with a larger APS-C sensor. That sensor provides excellent image quality, more dynamic range, and generally better low-light performance than cameras with smaller sensors. The GR3's minimalist design is also perfect for travel or street photography. However, the camera doesn't have many frills, no viewfinder or 4K video capability and a fixed screen that limits your shooting angles. Unlike the Sony RX107, this camera uses a fixed prime lens. While it isn't as versatile for faraway subjects, the 28mm equivalent focal length gives you a lot of coverage to capture street scenes or landscapes. If you prefer a tighter field of view, opt for the Ricoh GR II-9, while it's a little pricier, it has a lens with a narrower 40mm equivalent focal length. Ultimately, if you're looking for a highly portable, discrete camera that captures beautiful images, you can't go wrong with a GR3 or GR II-9. At number 3. Canon Cameras US. Once you dip into budget territory, worthwhile options are fewer and farther between, but the Canon PowerShot SX740 is a solid choice that won't break the bank. Of course, if you really want to save money, the best option is to simply stick with your smartphone camera, which is already waiting for you in your back pocket. But if you're craving the feel of a point-and-shoot camera or need the zoom range that one can provide, the SX740 is a good choice at a lower price point. Though it has a smaller sensor than our previous picks, its built-in lens can extend to a max full-frame equivalent focal length of 960mm, giving you an incredibly wide zoom range to shoot everything from landscape shots to close-ups of faraway subjects. Its image quality is nothing to write home about, but it's more than suitable for casual or family photography, and the camera's tilt-up screen makes it easy to take selfies or shoot at waist level. Ultimately, this point-and-shoot will serve you well if you need something very compact with a ton of zoom at a reasonable price. Number 2 of my list Canon PowerShot If the Sony RX107 is out of your price range, a mid-range option like the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark III delivers solid image quality and features at a lower price point. It's a fairly well-built camera with good ergonomics, including a small grip and thumb rest that provide a more secure hold. It also has a flip-up screen for selfies and vlogs, and like the Sony, it uses a 1-inch sensor that captures better-than-average image quality for a compact camera. The built-in lens is quite good, too. It can open up to a fairly wide aperture, and its 4.2x zoom range is fairly versatile, although it doesn't have as much range as the lens on the RX107. You still get extra features like optical and digital image stabilization and a built-in 3-stop ND filter to help you shoot at slower shutter speeds in bright lighting. That said, the autofocus on this camera can be sluggish and unreliable, and like most compact cameras, battery life is limited. Still, if you're looking for a versatile point-and-shoot that won't cost you a fortune, the G7X is a great choice. And number 1. Sony RX107. Though it isn't cheap, 
the Sony RX107 is one of the best compact cameras we've tested. Thanks to a highly portable design, a wide zoom range, and plenty of extra features, this small but mighty point-and-shoot has everything you need. Unlike your average compact camera, the RX107 uses a larger 1-inch type sensor, so image quality is great for its class, and the sensor's stacked design minimizes rolling shutter effect and allows for remarkably quick 20 frames per second burst shooting. While the RX107 doesn't have the longest zoom range, its 24 to 200 mm full-frame equivalent focal length is long enough to give you some flexibility with framing for various subjects. The camera is also packed with thoughtful design touches, like a small pop-up viewfinder and a pop-up flash, all while easily fitting into a coat pocket or small bag. That portability does come at the cost of a short battery life, but most compact cameras struggle in that arena, so it comes with the territory. And if you want to save money, you can find older models in the RX100 series on the used market for cheaper. Check out this video description for latest price and more information. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.